Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be analyzing Ford. They announced their earnings about a week ago, and it's been an interesting ride for the stock. It really went down and it really rose, which is interesting. Overall, I really like Ford. They're profitable. They're growing their revenues, which is all good, and they generate a lot of free cash. With the new set of financial statements, I can update my analysis on the company and give you my intent, which is either to buy more shares, hold, or sell my shares. I'll make that decision after I go through my process, which I'll share with you, and my analysis. Do me a favor and like my video and subscribe to my channel. And also provide a comment on the video. Let me know what you think of Ford and what you're doing with the stock, if anything. Now let's get into Ford Automotive. Now, the process I'm going to follow is simple. I first want to make a decision. Do I want to be a part owner in the company? And do I like the industry? Do I think the management team is operating the business well? Do I think debt is under control on less than three times EBITDA? And I want a discount on stock. That way I could see my investment go up in value. And based on those questions, I will buy, hold, or sell this stock. Ford's been around for over 100 years, and they're a real solid business. I know the car business is really competitive, but I happen to think that Ford is one of the strongest companies in the automotive industry, really in the world. They have a strong lineup of cars. I like the models that they have put forward, especially the Bronco, the Ford Lightning, and the F1 pickup. And I also like that they also run their own finance company. So that's kind of, they have a vertically integrated business and really keep a lot of the profit. Overall, the industry is moving to electric cars and Ford has good electric cars, but they don't make money yet with electric cars. Neither does GM. It's very hard for the legacy automotive companies to cut over to electric. And I think Tesla is beginning to really see headwinds. It's one thing when Tesla is selling an electric vehicle for $100,000. But now Tesla is being pressed to sell an electric vehicle under $30,000. It's going to take a lot of units to replace the current clientele that Tesla has been selling into. And there's a lot of headwinds with electric vehicles. I think the demand isn't there anymore. I think everybody who wanted an electric vehicle and was willing to pay a premium bought their electric vehicle and they're, they're good. I think there's a lack of demand uh, remaining for electric vehicles. So we're back to a good mix of traditional vehicles being uh, the big volume leaders and electric vehicles being offered to those that, that want that option. Ford announced their earnings, and I'd like to go over some of that information they provided in their earnings report. For the third quarter of 2023, their revenue went up 11%. That's an excellent increase in revenue. And they did it while being profitable. And the, actually, their margin went up as well. They generated good free cash flow, and their free cash flow looks really good overall. Year to date for the first nine months of 2023, more of the same. Revenue's up 14%. They did it profitably, and their margins are expanding. And again, overall, free cash flows look really good. And I'm going to actually show the statement of cash flows to get the data that I need for my evaluation. Looking at the full P&L, again, we, they, they grew revenue nicely, both for the quarter and year to date, and they are profitable. Their earnings per share really increased from last year. Last year, they were operating at a loss, but this year, they have a really nice earnings per share. And they've been buying back shares compared to last year to this year. Uh, shares have been going down, so that's really good to see that there are fewer shares available for Ford, making the remaining shares more valuable. Ford carries a pretty good portion of cash on their balance sheet. They have both cash and cash equivalents and also marketable securities. They carry over $40 billion of uh, cash on their balance sheet in short-term securities. What's interesting is they also carry debt and they carry everything outside of the financing arm, and that's about $19 billion in debt, and then everything related to Ford credit. 
So what I'm doing is I'm combining these two numbers and putting that in debt, and I'm combining these three numbers and putting it into uh, the cash uh, box. That way I'm catching everything, all debt and all cash or cash equivalent. The statement of cash flow looks really good. Cash from operations for the first nine months went up to 12.4 billion, up from 5.6 billion. The amount of capital they're putting back in the business did increase, but it increased up to about 6 billion. So it left about $6.5 billion of free cash for the first nine months. The company guided that they were gonna produce 6.5 billion in free cash for 2023 for the full year. So in my estimation, they're running well ahead of that free cash flow generation. I believe that Ford stock is currently discounted at 71%. And that means that each share is really worth about $17.50, but the market will sell you shares at $10 per share. I get my valuation using a discounted free cash flow technique, as well as discounting earnings per share technique. Let's go over discounted free cash flows first. So they guided that they were going to produce 6.5 billion in free cash. So I use that. As mentioned earlier, they're actually generating more free cash than the 6.5, but I'll just be conservative and just go with that rate. Over the first four years, free cash flow would grow at 2%. And all cash flows after year four will also grow at 2%. And those amount to $100 billion. I'm gonna discount those free cash flows by 9% and get to a net present value of $86.9 billion. I'm gonna add all cash, cash equivalent, and I'm gonna take away the debt that is on the balance sheet to get to an equity value of 76.6 .6 billion. Their market cap's only 40.8 billion. So therefore each, uh, the value per share is $19.16 but you can buy shares for $10.22. So it offers up an 89% discount if you look at their free cash flows. Earnings per share looks good. Uh, expect the next four quarters, they'll do $1.58 per share or better. And I'm gonna use a rate of 12 PE on, on Ford. Grow those earnings per share by 2%. And based on those factors, there's a discount of 39% using the earnings per share method, which is discounting all the earnings per share that we expect in the future. And that would value each share at $14 per share, but they're selling at $10 per share. I'm gonna blend the two, but I'm gonna put more weight in the free cash flow method. I'm gonna go two thirds weight on free cash flow method, one third weight on earnings per share to get to 71% discount on Ford. Looking where the stock is traded over the last year, you can see a seesaw. It's gone down, up, down, up. It's really been a stock that's had a lot of volatility, but more recently it's really gone down. And it's offered up a really good ac acquisition price. Um, at its peak, it was near the value that I have today for the stock, which is $17.50. It offers a really uh, big discount. If you look at today's stock price compared to the value that I'm estimating overall for the year, the stock is down 12.7% and it pays a big dividend of 5.89%, which they can afford easily with all the free cash they're generating. So it really is a stock that it gives you really good entry points. You can buy Schwartz at a discount and then um, it tends to rise overall and it's probably offering up the best discount it's shown of the year. So should I put more of my hard-earned money into Ford stock? Well, let's take a look at my scorecard. So first, I think the company is very, very, a very good company in a good industry. It's the only automotive company that I own. I used to own Tesla, but it just got way too rich for, for my valuation. Sold Tesla at a profit. I'm glad I did so. And I bought Ford. Uh, I think Ford offers a great value proposition. And the company is operated really well. I really like the lineup they have from a product perspective. And I like how they operate. Debt is well under three times EBITDA. And they offer a really nice discount in stock. So I'm going to keep buying shares of Ford. Well, that's my analysis and decision on Ford. I hope you found it interesting. Do me a favor and leave a comment. Love to hear what you think of Ford, what you plan on doing with this stock. 
and do me a favor and like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching. Good luck investing.